previously on Hell's Kitchen. Now, go, move your ass. At the conclusion of the entree relay, Blue Team, may I speak? Tom went toe to toe with Chef Ramsay. May I speak? May I speak? Just stand up straight and at least look like a cook. Who do you think you're talking to? The men would lose the challenge. We're not washing anything with a washboard. And Tom is self respect. While the women were rewarded with a day on the high seas. I wish Sean was here to rub lotion on it. But when they returned, you can't have any creases. The battle of the sexes got ugly with Garrett duking it out with Heather. Y'all women have dinner ready for us, men, when we get home. I'm not your wife, I'm not your girlfriend. Then at dinner service, when steady Heather stumbled. Don't send anything, Heather, unless you know it's perfect. Princess Heather, if that's the way she works. <sighs> Her bitter rival, Sarah, happily emerged. Fantastic. Keep it up now, yeah? Thank blue. you, Chef. In the blue kitchen, Tom and Giacomo came under fire. <laughs> you donkey! Why is the oven not on? It's really tough. I want to make him happy. You stopped caring now, haven't you? No, I haven't. Yes, you fucking have. And after only getting out two entrees... You were bad. ...the men were declared the losers. Tom, Giacomo, step forward. Giacomo, take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. And Giacomo's dream of his own restaurant in the Red Rock Resort in Las Vegas went up in flames. Piss me off now. I'm gonna make them feel stupid that they nominated me. What'd I tell you? I have your fucking back. I know. I nominated Tom for elimination. He's a good guy. But long story short, do I think we're a better team without Tom? Yes. You think I that was you, you think that, that was fucking easy for me to fucking do? Don't fucking torpedo me because I have your back. <sighs> If I get kicked off of Hell's Kitchen, I got no place to go. I'm 43, this is the fourth career I've gone into. There's no more changing careers. This is it. I bring a lot more to the table than a 21-year-old kid. Tom doesn't get it. No matter our, about our experiences, or where we've been, or done this, done that. If you can't cook, you can't cook. I gave up more than anybody. No, you didn't. No, you have not. We've all given up. Time with family members. I don't care about time. I care about money. You care about the money? I care about the experience to work with him. This is what we were born to do. This is all we have. Tom's acting like he's the only damn person in the house that's ever sacrificed anything to do this. It's a game! This is all I know how to do. This is my life. I, I don't care. after a series of losses on the blue team. Come on, Gabe. Larry, oh my god. Giacomo! There are now just three men and five women left in Hell's Kitchen. The blue team is in dire straits. Men, you lost the battle of the sexes big time. Look at you, you're dwindling away. Sarah, Heather, Rachel, all three of you are emerging as leaders. Chef Ramsey pointed out Rachel, Heather, and Sarah as leaders. I'm just gonna start um, doing what they do, which is be bossy, and maybe he'll think I'm a leader then. Blue team, I'm giving you a leader. Heather. In the blue team. Now. I'm pissed off because I've worked my ass off for this team, and now we're working against each other. Missy, there you go. Thank you, Chef. It's gonna be hard, because it's gonna get cutthroat, because I'm gonna have to go against my girls. We've got a woman 
moving to the blue team to show some balls. I don't need leadership if she wants to lead Tom and uh, Garrett. Good. I'm sick of trying to tell Tom what to do and teach him stuff. I'm not sad to see Heather go. I'm very much able to take the reins and be a leader. This is the time. The time is now. OK, so right now, all of you are coming with me, and I'm going to show you one of the most successful restaurants in Los Angeles. Let's go. Could it be one of Wolfgang Puck's restaurants? I have no idea where we're going. This way. It could be anything. Field trip. Woohoo! OK, here we are. Welcome to Pink's. We're not going to Spargo. <laughs> Pink's, the busiest restaurant in Los Angeles. 2,000 customers per day. But a simple hot dog done deliciously well. OK, what would you like? Chili cheese dog. I'd like the Gordon Ramsay dog, please, chef. Gordon Ramsay dog. Are you looking for brownie points? Yes, chef, I am. When I was in college, I worked at a hot dog place. Do you want to go around and give him a hand? Let's go. Will he fit behind there? <laughs> Without a doubt, Tom belongs behind that counter at Pink's, not on the line with Kay Grease. Hey, Tom, move your ass, yeah? Yeah. I made a chili cheese dog. And there isn't one dish that we make in Hell's Kitchen that is any more complicated than that. And I'm going to try and take that into tomorrow's service. There you go, buddy. Hey. One for you, man. Right, Tom, get out of there, please, yeah, before you sweat in the dogs. Tom, you're sweating in the fucking food. Everyone got a dog, yes? Yes, sir. Oh, there we go. Chef, your dog is delicious. Very good. I didn't try the Gordon Ramsay dog, but I'm sure it was very spicy and hot, just like he is. OK, listen up. We're about to make history. In just under two hours' time, we're opening for lunch for the very first time. Oh, my god. If I was you, I'd get your arsey back to the kitchen, yeah? Run, yeah? Stop! Yeah! yeah! Keith. Move that fat stomach. I didn't want to run back, so I kind of jogged and then I walked a little jog. And that's just how K Grease rolls. For the first time ever, lunch will be served at Hell's Kitchen. With the restaurant opening at noon, the chefs have less than two hours to learn and prepare the menu. Let's go, Keith. Very simple menu. Caesar salad. Pizza margarita. Chopped steak. And pasta formaggio. Yes, chef. Let's go. All right, let's do it. It's like hamburger, pizza, and french fries. I mean, how hard can that be? Hey, fucking A. I just feel bad for Heather having to uh, walk into that team. I don't think you were expecting to be over here today, were you? No, chef. The men just need to focus. So that's why I'm here, and hopefully it'll work. I came into the house kitchen just to prove that I can do this. So you're with me, right? Absolutely. It sucks to lose anybody, but I still feel that we still have a strong team. It's not like we're going to fall down because she's not here. It's the first time to kick Heather's ass, man. Without Heather, Rachel's not going to be able to pull together. Yeah! Do it! Do it! Do it! After three disappointing dinner services, Chef Ramsay is hoping Hell's Kitchen's first lunch service will be a success. OK, blue team, let's go. Ladies, over. Line up. This is your challenge. Customers do not wait for lunch. I'm looking for speed, taste, and quality. Are you ready? Yes, Let's go! Yes, oh, God. I heard that little, ah, as I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. The kids. We're doing it for the kids. You take grill, you take fries, you take pasta, I'll take this. Chef appointed Heather the leader of the team. She's very well organized, and we're a train wreck. Pan on. Keith, Keith, pull your pants up. That's the first thing you do. All right. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen Kindergarten. So, ladies first, if you don't mind. In front of those children here, move your bottoms, yeah? And I mean move your asses, yeah? Can't do it without fucking swearing. To win today's challenge, both kitchens must have a complete service. 
And with a hundred hungry mouths to feed, neither team can afford to make mistakes. Let's go, ladies. You okay? I just cut my finger on that. How did you cut yourself? You're making pizza. You all right? I'm cool. I'm good. Here, hold it up above your heart. Okay, give me a minute, please. One minute to myself. That's all I need. Put it above your Thank heart. You. I think that I can really get a job done so long as people give me my space. So what? I cut my hand. I can handle it. The pressure is building in both kitchens. Two seasons salad, where are they? You need one more season. I got it, I got Two it, pizza. I got it. Let me just, let me, you hear me? I'm just getting you set up. Damn it, Tom, I'm trying to help hey, you. I swear to no God. no fighting. I, I need to pop some more. I know, but I got Hey! It. Cut it out. Cut it out. I'll I'll do it later. The men just can't get over their macho bullshit. If we don't push this out, oh my god, I'm gonna start breaking heads. While Heather emerges as a force in what was the men's team, there's a power struggle in the red kitchen. Let me let me do something to help you. They're not ready yet. I've got it under control. The chef said to sauce them up and get them ready to go in the oven. Hurry up, yeah? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Four pieces, one macaroni, five fries. She's such a fucking control freak. She's fucking ruining it. Let me take ownership of my station. Okay. Sarah should have said, I need some help. It's for the good of the team. Just get the lunch out. A mere 10 minutes into Hell's Kitchen's first lunch service, and the customers are getting a little restless. Come on! Let's go! Put food in their mouth and shut them up! Come on! I'm ready in uh, 15 seconds to win them. Got it? Careful, let's go, let's go. We gotta get them out. Move, yes? Let's go. Service, please. Let's go, big boy. Table 20, please. First table's done. Now keep it going, guys. Yes, chef. Finally, food is coming out of both kitchens. Where's the macaroni and cheese? It's coming, sir. Move, yes? Table 32. Go, please. The mood in the dining room has shifted from chaos to contentment, and everything appears to be on track. Or is it? What's wrong with the shapes now? They've gone all square, the pizzas. I'll get you another one, chef. Oh, no, no, no. There's children. But at least pay them respect and keep it round. No, look at the state of that. You started so well. Here's chef. Two square pizzas for the first time in Hell's Kitchen. Chef's bitching about my pizzas that weren't round. Well, guess what, chef? I didn't roll those ugly turds out. Right, last table. Make it count. For the first time, each kitchen is within striking distance of a completed service. The blue team has only three tables left to serve. The red team has four. Two macaroni, two burger, two pizza. Yes, yeah, sure. yes, chef. Get them going faster if you can. Go disappear, 44. Guys, come on. Service, please. Table 23, yes? Pick up 24. Go, please. Complete table 31. Go, please. Service, please. Come on, guys, that last table is all we need. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's Pick up, go. please, table four, yes? Last order, let's go. That's up. Go, please. Complete. Sweet. Thank you. There you go, like a pro. Yay! Yay! We got all of our tickets out. That felt, that felt wonderful. Both teams have completed their first ever meal service. Unbelievable. And there's a celebration in the kitchens. <laughs> and in the dining room. Congratulations to both teams. I really mean that, because the whole point of this was just getting through a service. Now, just make sure it travels forward to the dinner service with that momentum. OK? Time to declare a winner for today's challenge. I asked all the kids to rate the food on a scale 1 to 10. The Red Kitchen. The kids scored your food 9.84 out of 10. Blue Kitchen, you scored a 9.8. Five. Congratulations. You're the winners. Man, it feels absolutely great to finally win. It's been a long time coming. Blue Team, you're getting out of Hell's Kitchen and having a great afternoon fun. Red Team, 
This place is clearly a mess. You're now going to clean the dining room. Blue team, don't get changed. Red team, get to work, ladies. Finally! Thank you, Heather. I knew a Heather would be scoring. Now that she's on my team, we're going to kill it. Dude, the new name of our team and. is Three Men and a Little Lady. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was almost thinking I wanted to have kids. The kids left a huge mess behind. I mean, they left cake, they left bubblegum. It was just like a rainbow of colors on the floor. We have a lot of work out of us. This string is not silly anymore. I told you, get back in the kitchen and fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets short of. I feel bad because we lost. And I, I busted my ass. Sarah doesn't care if she loses. I don't get it. Hey, kick me in the ass while I'm down. So. <laughs> don't tempt me. While the red team cleans up after the kids, Chef Ramsay has arranged for the blue team to feel like kids. Oh, my God, he's so pretty. <gasps> I told you it was an amusement park. <laughs> oh, look at this well, place, guys. Oh. I haven't been to it. A music park in years. It was really exciting for me. I'm, I'm pretty winner. sure I can win that one. It says a winner every know. time. <laughs> <laughs> He's a winner! Oh, Chicken me! Yeah. Yeah. That really sucks. <laughs> Bullshit! I think if it's me and you in the final, and final two, it's perfect because there's an H and then a fork and then a K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is! Heather again, HK, what, what? While alliances are forming on the blue team, tensions are building on the red. Wee, 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 wee. Oh, my wrist. I think it's funny just cutting up and smooth. I don't think it's funny, I just think you're a bitch. You think That's I'm a all? bitch? Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Wait, All right, you guys hungry? Yeah, yeah you sure. want something to eat? There you go. Eat that. There's another cake still. Hold on. Sarah, enough. It's her second day of leading the blue team, and Heather is pulling up more than the men's morale. Work with me. Work with me. Oh, my God. Keith, Keith, pull your pants up. Just say to him, which would you rather show? The safety pin or my ass? Chef Ramsay's newly reshuffled teams prepare for dinner service. Jared, make sure everything has a label date on it. Everything. It's going to be a good day. It's really good to have somebody of Heather's caliber on the team right now. We've lost the last two dinner services, and we will not go 0-3. That's it. Got that air of confidence on me. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, all is quiet. Maybe a little too quiet. It's just not good right now within the team. That just scares me. I know Sarah wants to be a leader, but right now is not the time for a power struggle between she and I. You want to hear my odds on the bet? I hate to say I hope, but I think the red team's going to start seeing some losses. I look forward to seeing uh, Rachel on the chopping block. OK, guys, let's go. Ladies, let's go. Yeah, now, yeah? This is the fourth service. This is where we get stronger, better. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. One more thing. Hell's Kitchen ice machine is broken. Red team, you lost the lunch challenge yesterday. So when I say we need ice, go and get ice. And quick. Hell's Kitchen is now open. Let's go, yes? On 
the heels of a successful lunch, Chef Ramsay is expecting to finally complete a dinner service. Any questions? No, no chef. chef! Let's go. How would you like this salmon to be done? Um, medium. What's the Jack Warner soda? Tonight, Rachel is on the appetizers, but for her salad Saint-Jacques, she will have to rely on Sarah for the scallops. Gonna need Saint-Jacques in uh, four minutes, five minutes, please. Thank you, Saint-Jacques. After that, I'm gonna need two more saint so you got three Saint-Jacques all day. Thank you. You're welcome. A larger pan will be easier for the risotto. Get it wicked hot first. I totally feel like I'm the babysitter of the blue team. Tom, Yeah. is it hot? What's it? No, no, put it back in the oven. Come on, baby. While Heather tries to get things going on the blue team, Rachel is ready to plate her first appetizer. But she needs a little help from Sarah. I need my scallops, please. They are in the pan. I'll get them to you in two seconds. Uh, Sarah, are we ready, yes? Yeah, I was waiting for her call, Chef. You're waiting for her call, yeah? Called it three times. While Sarah's miscommunication with Rachel has put the red kitchen behind, Garrett is bringing his first appetizers to the pass. There's no salt in there. There's not even an ounce of salt in there. Are you serious? We can't send any food, Garrett. Garrett, unless we've tasted anything. If you haven't tasted your own fucking food, what chance have you got? None. I'd rather fuck off for a burger. While Garrett starts over, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to the red kitchen. How long, Rachel? Coming out now, Chef. Why is the risotto so stiff, Rachel? I don't know where you've eaten risotto before, but it relaxes on the plate. Yes, Chef. Risotto's not stacked up in a mold. It's relaxed on a plate and it flows like lava. Yes, Chef. Is that difficult? No, Chef. Is this because Heather's gone? No, Chef. Is it? No, Chef. We're sorry to lose Heather, but my focus right now is to get us to another service. You got potatoes on for me? In the blue kitchen, Garrett is hoping his second risotto attempt will be to Chef Ramsay's liking. I want to taste that. Put the pan down. Yes, Chef. Why wasn't the first one like that? Serve it. Hallelujah. Music to my fucking ears. 22, go. Is the risotto relaxed, yeah? Yes, Chef, it's relaxed. Oh. Service, please. Now, now you've gone too far. Now you've gone from one extreme to the other. Yes, Chef. Surely you must have some form of quality control inside your brain as a cook. Now it's liquid. It looks like a fucking soup, Rachel. When somebody stands up there and says, you know, your attempt is, is not at the par, it's a very humbling experience. Chef Ramsay will have the perfect opportunity to get rid of me. Yeah, the oil sucks. Mm. This is good. It's, it could be a little warmer, but it's good. It's, it's cold. It's cold? It's too cold. Yeah. Well, let me, let me, I'm sorry. No, let me bring it back to you. Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? Spaghetti's cold, Chef, in the blue kitchen. Spaghetti's cold, Chef. Fucking cold. Hey. Yes, Chef. Hey. Do you want to go? No way. No way. Do you want to go? No way, Chef. Get me a fucking spaghetti and move your ass, Chef. Yes, Chef. You're back in the Institute again, aren't you? No way, Chef. Serving that shit. No, Chef. No, no, hey, big boy. Come on, I got to get you hey, going. What I say to you about taste? 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 Yes, Chef. All that did for me when Chef Ramsay said, do you want to go back in jail, was motivate me even more. I'm going to bust my ass and I'm going to prove to you that I belong here. Stand by. Two duck, one tall lady, one turban. 45 minutes into dinner service, and Rachel has managed to turn out appetizers for just six tables. Now, Virginia and Sarah must work together on the entrees. How close are you to the turban and the tortellini? I'll, I'm ready and waiting for your call. Can we start bringing these plates up? I'm ready. Okay. Where's everything else? Where's the turban? Chef, in the, I haven't fired it yet. No. She said that she's ready? No. She didn't even start cooking it. She did start cooking it, Chef. So now you want to start lying to me. I'm not lying to you, Chef. She said that she's ready when I am. I'm ready and wait for your call. I'm ready. OK, so where's the fucking turban? In my hand, Chef. She hasn't even got the turban in. Now you're trying to pass the buck. And everything you just told me 
confirms my suspicions. Hello? Yes, about sir. you. You're not here as a team member, are you? Yes, I am. You're out sir. for yourself, aren't you? No, I'm not. You're sir. here to screw the rest of them and fucking get your little restaurant to sit pretty on. No, I'm so not. So where's sir. the fucking tablet? <laughs> Sarah didn't speak up and say, Chef, I did tell her that I was ready. She should have at least spoken up and said something. Fuck me. Did I misunderstand you when I heard you say you were ready whenever I am? Um, it was Tortellini. I didn't hear it to Turbo. Virginia Who wants to say, well, you fucked up that turbo. And it's like, yeah, well, so? Chef Ramsay can't stand you right now. I don't necessarily see that as such a bad thing. Nice, 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 the blue nice, team nice. has finally pushed out most of their appetizers. With one ticket remaining, Garrett is ready with the spaghetti. And now it's all up to Tom on the meat station. How long? Seven minutes, Chef. Seven minutes? Why so long? Quail. Oh, no. Quail's got a rest. The quail's not cooked. Hello? What time did I call out the order? An hour ago. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, all that's needed to complete the first entrees are the mashed potatoes on the side. Maribel? Yes, chef. What is that? Those are the potatoes, chef. Tell me, what, why has it gone like glue? Missy, I'd get some fresh one if I was you, yeah? Do we have any more potatoes, guys? Oh, dear. Do you know what? If that was the last thing in this country to eat, I'd fucking starve. In the blue kitchen, the pressure is still on Tom on the meat section. Service, please. Where's the Wellington? It was a little too pink. Oh, no. Oh, come on. It's a little too pink. Keith. Four minutes, Chef. Four minutes to window. Thank you. Tom, do you realize what's going on in here? Yes, people are communicating. Yeah, yeah that's right. First thing you turn around, it says, Chef, four minutes to the window. You, a little pink. What fucking line of communication is that on? An hour and a half into dinner service, and the good news is the customers are enjoying their food. It's really flavorful. The bad news is there isn't a lot of it. Wake me up with the food. Goes. Virginia and Rachel have teamed up on the quail dish, but will it fly with Chef Ramsay? Virginia. Yes, Chef. Rachel. Yes, Chef. Why have we left all the bone on with the quail? Here, I'll cut it off. Here, I'll cut it off. Oh, fucking hell. Why have we left all the wings on? I'm never gonna get this right. I deserve to die. Get it right. Get it right. Rachel. Chef. Is this normal for you? Because you look at me as if it's the planet fucking Mars. No, I'm just, I'm trying to understand your procedures. Yeah, it's no big complicated standard procedure. It's just normal. Right. Piss off and go and get some ice. Yes, Chef. Red team, you lost the challenge. When I say we need ice, go and get ice. Ice! While Rachel has to leave Hell's Kitchen, Tom is juggling multiple orders for the blue team. This order here, 735. Hello? Stop. Hey, listen, stop. Come here, you, you idiot. Me, I'm fucking had enough. What I'm trying to tell you in your fucking eyeballs, that the quail and the spaghetti now. Right. Yeah, and you're putting the quail. No, in. I have the ones there. That's for that fucking order there. Oh. You're not bothered, are you? It doesn't hurt, does it? Doesn't, doesn't no, it you. does. I can't yell, can't cry. All I have to do is I got to do it. Oh, my god. The duck's burnt! You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! Oh, my God. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Just fucking leave it. You're going to blow fire in your face, you fucking donkey! Keith. Yes, Chef. Get on the meat section and stay next to him and don't let him cook a fucking thing. And you, open those big eyes and watch what the fuck this guy's doing. Yes, Chef. Shut it and watch. Yes, Chef. Shut it! You got that, Doc? I got it. Listen okay. to me. Oh, no, sorry. All right. In her hurry to bring ice back to Hell's Kitchen, Rachel has forgotten one crucial thing. Money. Sir, would you do me a huge favor? Would you pay for my ice? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Um, please. Please, I'm begging. Add that in there. Thank you so much. You want ice, Chef? Yes, Chef. You will get ice. Thank you. If I have to beg, borrow, whatever I got to do, I'll go get you some ice. With Rachel down and out of the kitchen, her team is succeeding in pushing out entrees. Chicken is done. Wellington is done. Right. How long, please? Except for plating. You're plating? Yeah, so am I. Perfect. Music to my fucking ears. Bring it over here, Missy. Service, please. When Rachel left, it did get a little easier. I felt like more, a little bit more relaxed, only because Chef wasn't screaming on our side. 
service, please, Fargo. We can be relaxed and calm and get things out. I busted my ass on the way back. Two hours into dinner service, and each kitchen has delivered only half their entrees. Oh, come on. Virginia! Yes, sir. What is that there? What is the Wellington requested? Medium. What is that? I thought it was medium. My, my bad. Here we go again. What is that? I thought it was medium, chef. I swear. What is that? Rare. Rare. That's right, gold star. Rachel, you're going to kill me. Can you make Wellington? Good morning, yes. <laughs> Missy, yes. Yes, why are you glazing with butter, not egg wash? It was egg wash, sir. What's that in there? That's egg. Egg yolk or egg white? Egg white. Oh, no. Have they all been glazed all night with egg white? Wrong thing, evidently. Oh, no. Why are Wellington's going in now? We ran out, chef. You ran out? Yes. Oh, fuck me. Ladies. I personally don't want to do this anymore. I'm fed up with your shit. I'm fed up with your shit. You've been a fucking letdown since the minute you started cooking. Yes, sir. Then you lie to me that the turbo's en route and she hasn't even got it out of the fucking fridge. Do you want to continue like this? No, chef. Fuck the lot of you. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. Fuck the lot of you. Yes, chef. You, come here, you. Fat sock. Hey, donut, come here, you. Hey, ladies, come here. Let me tell you something. Yeah? There you go. Yeah? Yeah, there you go. Have had enough. I've had enough! I cannot believe you're actually attempting to fucking win a restaurant. Get back in your fucking dorms. And hello. By the time you get back in here from the blue team, nominate someone that's going tonight. And from the red team, come back with someone that's leaving. Now get out! Out! Leave the stove! I don't think we're getting dessert. I don't think so. Chef Ramsay has told each team to come to a consensus and nominate one of their chefs to go home. No one is safe. I'm just trying to figure out what happened there. He called me a liar, and I, didn't, I seriously you thought you said that's that we're job. on time. That's what he does, because you know what? He's just making you better. Right now is the weed out process in the game, where you know you take your friendships, you put them aside, and you want you want the golden ticket. Sarah did screw up. It got blamed on me, and she never fessed up to it. So now you want to start lying to me. I'm not lying to you, Chef. She said that she's ready when I am. To have Chef Ramsay call me a liar, and it just breaks my heart. Why are you so passive aggressive? Like, I have no idea this shit goes I'm on. I'm not passive aggressive. Sorry I made you look like a liar. You don't learn without making a mistake. That was so embarrassing. Oh my God. The problem with our team tonight was Tom. The problem with the blue team from the get-go, Tom. We need him gone. He has to go home. Chef Ramsey, three services in a row, he's blasted him, blasted him, and blasted him, and blasted him. He's a salesman. He's going to try to talk his way into staying. Most importantly, you threw something on my face, and I didn't fucking drop you. That's the most important thing. It's way out of bounds, guys. Unlike that piece of gum that's stuck to the bottom of your shoe you just can't get rid of. You know what? I'm going to be back tomorrow. Let's all talk about where we all stand here. Let's do that. Dude, I don't want to go. What? I don't want to go. I don't want to go either. But we got to come up with a consensus. You got to make a vote. But honestly, you guys, I'm not stupid. I know what happened tonight. And I know you guys are all going to vote for me. So you might as well just come to the conclusion right now. Because, I mean, if you, if you don't want to go, you need to stick up for yourself. You got to say a name. We got we to do this as a group. I don't know who I, like, not you, not you, maybe you, Maribel. Two things that I think that held us back today, the potatoes and the risotto that you had to do a few times. <laughs> risotto is not stacked up in a mold. Is that difficult? No, chef. So you think it's me? I can't make a decision.
I've realised tonight. They're standing in front of me now. Sadly, is a bunch of fast food chefs. Unfortunately, I haven't got a fast food restaurant to give away. What I've got is a multi-million dollar restaurant in a billion dollar resort. Keith. Yes, Chef. You were the one bright spot in a blue team. Who have the blue team nominated and why? Well, the blue team got together and nominated Tom because uh, we just think he was the least contributing to uh, getting the food out. Sarah, you showed some initiative. Thank you, Chef. Who have the red team nominated and why? We've nominated Virginia, Chef. Who? Virginia. Really? Yes, Chef. Did you consider Rachel? We did, but she made not as many mistakes as Virginia did. Rachel. Chef. I think that's been your worst performance since I met you. Absolutely, Chef. Step forward, Tom and Virginia. Tom. Yes, yeah, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Honestly, Chef, you can't beat me down. You can't. I will not give up. I have not gone through that much humiliation to give up now. I'm going to show you, you cannot get rid of me. You will not break me. Virginia, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I have a passion for food. My heart and soul is in it. If you think that I can make it, then I want to stay. But if you look right at me and you honestly don't think so, then I don't deserve to be here. But I feel I do. You happy now, Rachel? No, Chef, I'm not. You must be laughing big time, sweetheart, yeah? I'll take her place, Chef, if you want me to. That's tempting. Rachel! Chef! Have they all been glazed all night with egg whites? Wrong thing, evidently. Oh, no. That's for that fucking order there! You're not here as a team member, are you? Yes, I am, You're out sir. for yourself, aren't you? No, I'm not. So where's the fucking turbot? The person leaving Hell's Kitchen... ...is Tom. Give me a jacket and get out of Hell's Kitchen. working in the kitchen. By no means am I giving up. This is the path I've chosen. You know what's scary? I gotta go find a job. Hey, chef, I need a recommendation. Just think long and hard about tonight, because that, quite possibly, has to be the worst service I've ever experienced. I really feel like throwing the towel in, because you guys pushed me places I've never gone before. Since I'm part of the blue team now, I definitely want the blue team to rise above. So without Tom, we can do this. Chef had some choice words for me tonight. I'd work for that man just the longer. And I don't think he sees that in me. So. Tonight was just horrible. The worst part of it is the fact that we're not like a team right now. We're like enemies. I am who I am. Here's your competition. You better watch out for me. I'm not giving up on you guys. So don't give up on me. They get out. Good night. Tom's got a big heart. Sadly, he's a really crap cook. Why on earth he's ever decided to attempt to become a chef, I'll never know. The next Hell's Kitchen. The feud between Rachel and Sarah reaches its breaking point. I could beat her ass. Man, I'm scared. Then it's celebrity time at Hell's Kitchen. Oh my God! But at dinner service, Chef Ramsay is all business. This is your time to step up and get your team together. 
and he kicks one of the cooks out of the kitchen. You're in jeopardy of screwing the whole fucking thing. Will dinner be another disaster? Where's the lamb sauce? Or will Chef Ramsay get the successful service he's desperate for? You've got three tables left to go. Hallelujah. You won't believe what happens. Please, 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 please. Find out next time on Hell's Kitchen.